Welcome to the Breakfast Time Broadcast with Victory Igori Ogagbon. The BFT Broadcast is a platform where we share God's undiluted word with you every Monday. My name is Avicii Adesua Igori Ogagbon. Remember, His word is light. His word is a lamp to guide us from sleeping. Victory Igori Ogagbon, the Breakfast Time Broadcast Convener and your host, who, alongside other servants of God, will be sharing from her experience in a bit to help you become your very best before God and amongst men through the ministry of the Word of God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast Time Broadcast, aka BFT. Happy New Week and a happy stress-free week in Jesus' name. Yes, it's a new month the Lord has brought us triumphantly. I want to thank God especially for your life, your family, and all that you lay your hands to do. I want to bless the Lord because he has secured us. The Lord has watched over us and he has brought us to this last land. He may alone be all the glory. I want to thank God for everyone that the Lord used for us in the month of September to bring about the manifestation of his plan and his purpose, to expand his word to our hearts in diverse form and dimension. I want to say a big thank you to Dr. Rex. I want to say a big thank you to Evangelist Twin Fatusi. I want to say a big thank you to Pastor Chris. I want to say a very big thank you to Evangelist Joy Dogu. God used men and women for us in diverse occasions to refresh us in the month of uh, September. It was glorious. And I know this new month shall be more glorious. Shall we say a word of prayer? In turn, God, we just want to bless you. We give you all the glory for it belongs to you. We give you all the honor. We give you adoration. We worship you. We adore you. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your love. Thank you for your divine guidance. Thank you for all that you have in store for us this new month. Oh, Lord, be that magnified in the name of Jesus. Lord, as you are about to communicate your mind to us, once again, we pray that you enable our understanding. Open our eyes to behold your wondrous work and give us the opportunity to properly obey your word. This and many more will pray and receive with thanksgiving in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. The book of Ephesians chapter number 2 and verse number 10 says, For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good work, which God had before time ordained that we should walk in them. Another version says, which God has before time ordained that we should do. Amen. And then as a workmanship, it means God walk through you. You are God's tools. You are an instrument in God's hands that he used to do diverse things that he wants to do whenever he wants and how he wants it. And I trust the Lord that you are a workmanship. Looking at the book of Mark chapter number 1 and verse number 29 to 32, verse number 29, sorry, to 31. And I tell you, this is a scripture. Mark talked about it, Luke talked about it, and then Matthew talked about it. But I want to use that of Mark because it has a very clear account. The Bible says Jesus and his disciples, including James and John, left the synagogue and went straight to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was sick in bed with a fever and as soon as Jesus arrived he was told about her he went to her took her by the hand and helped her up the fever left her and she began to wait on them another person says she went he went close to the bed lifted her up and the fever left her and she began to serve today by the grace of God I want to talk about reach out I'm not saying it's a topic for the month the Lord has not given me a topic for the month as usual but this is what I want to talk about as the Lord will give me utterance. I want to talk about reaching out, reach out or check on them. Whatsoever we want to call, reach out, check on them. Dear beloved brethren, people are going through a lot of things that you don't know. <laughs> the Bible makes us to understand in this scripture that we read, Jesus left the church and went straight to the house of Peter. Who was Peter? Uh, Simon. Simon was one of his disciples. On getting there, he got the information that the mother-in-law was sick. 
And the Bible makes us to understand from the scenario that sickness hindered her from doing a lot of things. And the Bible says immediately she was relieved. She was healed of that sickness. She began to serve. Child of God, I want to tell you today, you see, that brother, that sister that you say, you, that you are thinking doesn't want to serve. It's just because that fellow is sick. By the grace of God, since this year, I've been working close, very close with people on the customer service where I have time to talk with people. But I tell you, the kind of cases I have had this year, I don't think I've had it in four years of my life. The kind of issues and problems people go through, I don't think I've had it in four years of my whole life. Because why? You see them looking good. You see them well-dressed. I'm in a foreign land. You see them well-dressed. You see them when it's time for them to pay, they pay heavily, they buy good things. And when they open their mouth to tell you what they are in right now, you don't even wish to be like them. You don't, you don't even desire it in any form to be like them. I've come across people sharing tears just at the counter, sharing tears. Many times I've left my counter to hug some, just hug some. And I say, Jesus can fix this. I, Jesus can help. God can help. God is still interested. I've heard many tell me, where is God when all these things are happening? I believe God is angry with me. So many pain, so many, so many bottled pain. My dear beloved brethren, the Bible says we are God's own workmanship. We are God's own tools that God has ordained, I beg your pardon, to reach, to use, to reach out. Reach out to that brother. Nobody, nobody that loves God for real won't or just choose not to work for God. I had the shocking news that broke my heart all through the night. How a servant of God fared in the midst of battle, not fell into sin, not fell into sin, but just like that. And the question that I keep asking, where was our eyes? Why we didn't notice? Oh, because he was doing what he was doing. He was busy preaching. He was busy leading. And this fellow was bleeding until he bled to death. Bled to death. Where, where, where were we looking at? Were we looking at other direction? And it's so sad that when we see people Walking, we call when we see people doing what we want them to do or working for us, we call them stars. But the moment they start, they, they stop doing it. You don't go extra miles to see why this brother is not functioning, why this sister is not functioning. Then you look for an alternative. As I, I got the right up here, he says, Selfishness is like a force of gravity, everything is pulled in towards me, myself, to counteract this inherent selfishness that is part of human nature we need the help of god we need the help of god in order to counteract this tendency towards selfishness we must reach up to god it is only when we reach when we are able to reach up towards god that we can reach out in compassion to others we can reach out in compassion to others oh you are just you're just satisfied a servant of god shared with us recently how a minister under him that is, that is serving effectively. He never knew what was going on until one day he said he was blessed with a huge sum of money. And why he was rejoicing. And God said, Don't worry, I'll tell you what to do. And God led him to that minister's house. Only for him to get to that minister's house. His properties were outside. With the police and everything, they threw him and his family outside. Why? Because he had outstanding bills to pay for the house. He couldn't pay for the house. He was, and he said, thank be to God that the exact money was given to him was in his pocket. And he told us, he said, what would have been the face of the church if I, if God did not prompt me to step in at that moment and say, go to their house. My dear beloved brethren, I came this morning to encourage you, please check on that sister. Check on that brother. Don't be like Jonah when the Lord said, go and reach out to Nineveh on my behalf. You began to give excuse. Why will I reach out to them? Don't you see what they have done? Listen to me. They are not called to serve you. They are called to serve God. And if you have the heart of God, you have this compassion in your heart for real. When you see a brother or a sister who normally, who has been doing things for the Lord and all of a sudden you are not seeing that person in that space again, please be quick. Reach out. Or put that fellow in the place of prayer. As I wrap up with this, 
I remember in our former station where we were serving. We were serving faithfully. There are times we trek to the church. 55 minutes trekking to the church. Myself and my husband, we trek to the church. And many times our pastor brings us. Pastor never knew what we were going through. Our sister never knew what we were going through. Until one day, a guest minister that was brought from about three hours drive from another city came to minister two, three days in our city, in our church. And on the third day, the man invited us and looked at us. See, there's something God just showed me about you yesterday. And this man began to explain to us. He said, you are going through tough time right now. He said, things are not good. Things are not good. He said, your pastor here does not even know. The members here does not even know. He said, because God has not shown it to them. He said, so they don't know. He said, but God said, I should tell you this. And immediately he said it. I kept quiet. There was something he said. He said, an offer will come from a place for you to leave the city, to go, carry your family. He said, then you, the work of God that God has for you in the land is terminated. He said, please don't go. That was when tears came out of my eyes because an offer has already come. We have accepted the offer and we have decided to move. We have decided to move. That day I wonder and say, how is it that God did not show them? Yes, because they were seeing us in church every now and then all the activities. We were there in the midweek, in the Bible study, in the choir practice, and the Sunday service. Everything was fine. Please, child of God, I came to encourage a child of God. Pick your phone. Reach out to that family. Reach out to that sister. Don't rejoice. Oh, they are not coming up. They are, they, they are, they are backsliding. Every child of God that genuinely loves God wants to serve God with everything within him with everything in him and everything within him. So, child of God, reach out. I know some has been hurt by these same people. But you, God will give you wisdom. Strategize. Delegate people. Go reach out to that fellow on my behalf. Go reach out to that fellow on my behalf. Bring me words. And God will give you strength in the name of Jesus. We should not begin to allow our soldiers to fall. Our soldiers to fall. You know what it is? Not member falling now, but even the head falling. So we don't want neither member nor the head to fall. Acts chapter number two, when you read from verse 45, he told us how they began when they leave the church, they go from house to house to do service, to break, to, 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 to have the Lord's supper. And the church men were added. So let's take it one step further. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. So, Tia, come here where I remain victory at this way. Please join us on Tuesday on our Facebook page. And the Lord bless us for on our Bible study. Join us on our Facebook page for Bible study this Tuesday. And we trust God to bless us in Jesus Christ's name. So, reach out. Reach out to that brother. Reach out to that sister. Don't assume they are fine. Reach out to them. Many are not fine. Those clothes are just deception. Those makeups are deception. Many are not fine. And be quick to reach out. Give them a lending hand. Don't let them sink. Don't let them die. So I will not write an episode how your life touched me. Touch them now before anything. God bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah.